Well, here we have life together and we have two kids. Is my son is four year old. Is a Shams in that his name? And my daughter is uh, two and a half, and she's Veena. And uh, Veena, which is the uh, the name is uh, uh, the Saraswati goddess, Hindu goddess, arts arts goddess. Uh, she use she usually plays that instrument. That's why we call it Saraswati Veena. So my daughter's name is Saraswati uh, Veena, and my son's name is Sham Sundar. Um, well, that's our life here. I used to practice a lot, mm, and uh, still practicing. And uh, we practice like uh, six to seven hours every day, and that is like part of our life. You know, getting up and practicing. Uh, I think sometimes that's only in you know, interest in our life. We get up with music. We practice. We work on music, notes, recordings programming, anything related to music, writing, writing articles, we teach, and then we go to bed with music. So that's, uh, this is pretty much what our life is from morning till night. My Guruji name also I didn't mention is, he is a South Indian. His name is J.B.S. Rao, Janavitra Subara. He, he ran away from home when he was 12 and he learned from his teacher in Katak. And uh, once uh, after he got all the studies finished and he came back and he got married and he settled in uh, uh, South in, uh, in South India. And uh, I'm so lucky to, uh, you know, got his, under him in his to study. And I studied six years under him. And uh, after that uh, we came to the place which we, where we met, which is uh, Hyderabad. and. Uh, after that, I once in a while I go back and see my Guruji, and uh, still I like to learn more from him, and there's a lot to learn. Hmm. Well, music is something very interesting. A lot of people think that as an artist, you just simply produce something, <clears throat> like a, a cook is producing a pie or something. But to us, it's not that way at all. I always feel that when we're performing, it's as though the music is already there, hanging in the air. The only thing we're doing is just going and plucking it out and producing the same thing in an audio form. But it's as if it's already there in the, in, in the air. And we feel that, I feel that Chandra is sensing this and that I am sensing this and to a sensitive person in the audience, they are also sensing the same thing. They're not just listening to what the, the, the tabla is playing or what the words are, the music, they're actually looking through us to see the same music that we perceive as a sort of hanging in the air. It's like looking at something and just copying it on a piece of paper. Well, we're here, we're seeing this music in the air and we're just simply copying it in sound. Essentially, the thing to remember is that anywhere in the world, people are people and art is art. They're all means of expression. The exact modality of such expression may differ from culture to culture, but the information is always the same whether one is dealing with East or West or North or South. People are the same, and the content of one's artistic, artistic expression is always going to be the same. Music is like culture than the religion, I think. Uh, it's, uh, because uh, I was born in a Christian family, Mine is very conservative Christian family. Being in uh, conservative Christians, but still I used to sing a lot. And uh, but I took it is uh, it's like a music is like a culture. I'm representing my culture. It's like wearing sari and all the other things we do. The same thing is music also is a part of the Indian culture. Yeah, it's a question of Indian culture rather than a question of Hinduism. As a matter of fact, uh, uh, you know, Ali Akbar Khan, who is the brother-in-law of Ravi Shankar, well, his father, being a conservative uh, Muslim, at the same time is a devotee of uh, Sharad Mata. And, uh, and, and it's ironic that even though the music itself is primarily Hindu in its origins, it has owed its propagation for about the last seven or eight centuries to predominantly Islamic, Islamic granas, or, or schools of uh, 
our traditional schools of education. As a matter of fact, uh, there are plen many examples of very, very conservative uh, Muslims who their entire artistic life is essentially singing nothing but songs of Rama and Krishna. You know, all, all Hindu gods.